is Carrie Love Cat. It's Carrie here from Carrie Love Cat. So this is my kitchen organization video and I realized I have a lot more stuff to add to this video. So this is just going to be part one. And as I said before, I'm not going to do a kitchen tour till our kitchen is remodeled. But I will show you some of the things that I have that I totally love. So first up, I have these containers from the container store. Let me pull them around here. And... Um, they, let me come down here. They are the, a little bit more expensive than the ones you see back there, but they're totally worth it. They're pretty um, sturdy, and then they have a place for you to put a label. So I put plates here, and we had so many. Um, so many plates and stuff from our wedding. This is where I store the extra plates. I don't have them all out. And we don't have, here's the tip, we don't have good plates and fancy plates. All the plates we have are white because um, if they break or we lose one, I can go to Sir Latav or really any store and I can just pick up another white bowl or another white plate. So white, dishwasher safe. I hate anything that I have to wash by hand. Everything has to be dishwasher or microwave safe. Everything has to be white because you can use white for any holiday. You just change the charger or the placemat or the decor. White plates, completely white, I just really love. And it's just easy for me. And I know a lot of people have like this set of plates for Thanksgiving and this set for Christmas and stuff like that. But this just works for me. It's minimalist. So that's my first tip is white plates. My second tip is have a place to store the extra. And by extra, I just mean backup. So when you get this, they come with little foam things to go in between. I use, I put in paper towels too. I had a bunch of extra, but um, just to keep give it a little more. So this is where I keep all the extra and there are like bigger plates underneath because we got a ton. And you know, it's just my husband and I right now, we have the baby, but she's not eating off the plates yet. So that's where we keep the extra plates. And they have silverware holders, but I just got a, a, a smaller one of these to hold the silverware. So this is where I have like all of our, we haven't even opened up our wedding silverware or our good knives yet, which is crazy. And my, I think we're gonna do that once we have, oops, once the kitchen's done. And then I think this is, um, no, this is a sugar bowl that I wrapped in a paper towel. But anyway, this is where we keep all of our silverware and we, should, I should put it out because it's like, why is it sitting in here? But anyway, I only have one cupboard for storage in my kitchen where I keep extra stuff like this. Actually, it's like one shelf, two little shelves. So these um, go in there. Now, the other thing I want to show before I get into that are these plate holders. So these are um, a little bit cheaper than the other ones. They come in a pack of three. I have another one that I didn't get out that's holding bowls. Um, but they're kind of the same principle. They zip up. You can see they're not as sturdy. They're squishy. But um, I got these, and they come with all these little um, things to put inside your plates. They hold my grandmother's um, depression dishes that I have. So here's some little vases I'm not going to take out. But, like, here's um, a tray that you guys have seen. So... I inherited a ton of this depression glass. Well, I inherited so much. I wrapped it up and sent it to three different cousins. And I kept just a few pieces because I thought, I don't have room for it and it's going to sit in a box. And how sad is that? And if somebody else wants to display it in their house, they can. Are you talking, honey? The baby's talking in the back. Are you talking on the video? Yay! Okay. So anyway, these are really great if you have special dishes. I didn't want them in a in a container in my garage. I didn't want them. I wanted them out, and I do because they're like accessible like this. I use them a lot more. For I've used these for Easter, of course, Christmas because they're green. I use them for um, um, Halloween even. They're super cute with some Halloween candy. So here you get a ton of these when you when you buy these. I believe this is like 20 or 30 bucks for the set. I'm not sure. I think 20 bucks. So I have all my little dishes like that in there. So I'm not going to show them all. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting my 
when the holidays come around, I try to post either tab my table or how I'm setting it up. Um, so Carrie Love Cat on Instagram. I always have the links at the end of the video if you're interested in that. But so those are that's how I keep my heirloom dishes. And I wanted to display them in our house, but my husband's like, oh, I don't want our house to be like our grandma house. And I'm like, you know what, honey? It's shabby chic. So get over it. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so there's that. So now the other thing is something that a lot of people have, but we have not redone. Now it's all going to fall apart. We have not redone our cupboards yet, so I have to add storage in these cupboards in this kitchen that was made in, like, I don't know, 1950, whatever. So the cupboards are really small. Um, and I probably should have shined these up, but whatever. So I got, they, they have these um, um, pot lid holders. Um, for, I don't even know, 20 or $30 in the store. Well, I went to the dollar store and I got, this is a file folder holder. I got this for a dollar. And I have one here and then I have one under my um, other cupboard holding my serving platters. I have my serving platters wrapped up, my big like Thanksgiving, and they're there too. I'll show that in another video. But anyway, you can go to the dollar store and get a file folder and put your, you can put your Tupperware lids, your serving platters, your baking sheets, your pot lids. This is fabulous. If you don't have the fabulous kitchen of your dreams like I want to have, that's really great. Now the other thing is, I didn't... <laughs> I realize I don't have the little lid for this. It comes with a little white, like, rubber lid. Um, but I got a bunch of these at Target, and these are really great. I make my own iced tea, so I boil water. And once it's boiled, yes, are you dancing? She's dancing over there for Target. <laughs> um, once I boil the water, I put in my green tea bags, and I usually do green tea with mint or green tea with pomegranate, or I mix, like, the teas, because green tea can get, be, like, really bitter. So I mix the teas, and then I pour it in this glass container, and I can have different kinds of teas, and they're, like, little files in your refrigerator, and they have little handles. So I got this at Target, and I believe it was around $5.00. Five so that's one of the things I do to organize my teas. The other thing I do... Are you okay, honey? Is you dancing? Okay. I got this at the container store, and this is a tea bag organizer. I know other people have had them in their videos, um, but you, and this is the small one. They have the giant ones, too. I mean, if you go to their kitchen section, they have so many cool things. So I get the tea, and then I take it out of the box, and then I put it in here. So here I have white tea. I have, what's this? mint melange this is pomegranate this is chamomile more mint i think yeah so i probably need to get a few more teas but so this is where i put my teas and then my husband drinks tea a lot i drink coffee and iced tea i don't really drink hot tea i don't know why i just never really got into it so um but that's, I love this, and then I don't even store it like this in my cupboard. I put it this way, and I store it, and I'm telling you how easy. And this is great for sugars and creamers, and if you have an office, um, where I used to work, my, my school I used to work, I kind of tried to reorganize the staff lounge. I wish I would have put one of these in there, because I did a bunch of other stuff, and I always thought, okay, I'm going to do this for like all the sugars and creamers and stuff, and I just never got to it. I don't know why. And all the tea bags, like you could do a couple of these in the office fabulous right so i don't know if they have anything comparable at the dollar store this was container store i don't remember how much it was but it's fairly fairly inexpensive now this is another thing too and um when i packed my lunch every day i thought this was the greatest thing ever pocket size salt and pepper shaker this was a dollar at the container store and um i will in my next part two video whenever i get it up i will show you my new lunch um I got an isolator fitness bag that you pack your lunch in with all the little compartments. Oh my God, it's so cute. Um, I haven't gotten it in yet, so once I get it in, I'll show you that. But this, you just open. You can come on in. My mom's here. She doesn't want to be on camera. Mom, do you want to say hi to the YouTube? No. <laughs> but this, you just open it like this, and there's your salt, and there's your pepper. And it is so great. Anyway, so when I get that in, I'll show you how I'm doing my lunches now and um, some other things. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different ideas. I said I was going to have five, but I will have a part two. And um, this, like, this is so great. 
Anybody that packs their lunch will appreciate this. You don't have to take the whole salt and pepper shaker with you. Anyway, so those are my ideas, and I hope you guys check it out. And if you need storage for your plates or your lids or your heirloom dishes, go for it. And, of course, I love that white, so that's my tip about that. If you, if you want to downsize, just get white, ladies. I'm telling you, so much easier. And if it chips or it breaks, just get another white one, and nobody will know on your Thanksgiving table. <laughs> <laughs> that you have a, a slightly different bowl. All right, you guys. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.